Did you ever want to have your Power BI report just up on a big screen or a TV, cycling through the different pages, showing you the different numbers, even cycling through different reports? Well, you can do that with PowerPoint. But up until just the other day, if the report's updated, the PowerPoint slide didn't update. But as of the new update, you can. Let me show you how. So first of all, I'm going to put this report into PowerPoint. So I'm just going to copy that URL. I'm going to go into PowerPoint. OK, I'm going to go insert Power BI. Now you really need Office 365 for this. If you haven't, then you're probably not going to have this feature. Um, and it needs to be relatively up to date for it to work properly as well. Um, I'm going to paste the URL in there. Insert. And I can resize this, hold control and drag the corner okay, to go a bit of a bigger screen. Beautiful. And I'll do the same thing for this page. Okay, so Power BI. And this time I'll go grab a different page. So this page here, grab the URL, go back into PowerPoint. Okay, and paste. Grab the corner, hold control, go a bit bigger. All right, and the key thing, the new feature is this little one down here, okay? Slideshow settings, automatically refresh. I'm gonna go 15 seconds, but imagine this was sort of every hour or every 20 minutes, you know, you probably don't need it every 15 seconds, maybe you do. Um, I think 15 is the minimum. And also, I've got to do it for the other page too. So go back to the other page. Okay, slideshow settings, auto refresh, 15 seconds. Beautiful. And look, let's be fancy about it and we'll add a bit of animation. So I'm going to add a bit of fade to each one. So there we go, there's the fade added. And you can actually, you know, just go over here and change the duration that you want each slide to show. Let's say it's six seconds per slide. Or you can actually do this. You can go to uh, slide show, rehearse timings, and it'll record how long you spend on each slide. And then you can just do it that way instead. So we'll do six seconds on that one. And if I go back to transitions, let's do six seconds on this one as well. Okay, sorted. Right. So if I start playing this, so from the beginning, okay, it'll just loop through and I can have that on a screen and every five seconds it just flips onto the next side. Now you do have to enable it to permanently loop. So let me show you that, where that setting is because I'd already done that earlier on. Uh, I think it's under slideshow here and uh, uh, Slideshow setup, that's the one. Okay, and I tick this loop continuously, okay, until escape. So set up slideshow, loop continuously. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've added some new data into the source. So I've replaced the CSV file where this is getting pulled from. I'm just gonna click refresh while the PowerPoint demo is going. So I'm just gonna have to put this on another screen while I do that. So I'm gonna drag that over here. Let me just go into this one and say from the beginning. All right. Notice this says 259. Okay, I'm about to refresh. Uh, let me click refresh on the data set. And this data is only going to February. Okay, so 259 and cutting off in February. So my data set's refreshing. 301, and there we go. We can see March is in here. See, we're going to April now. Let me flip onto the next slide. There we go. See, it just auto refreshed. That's pretty cool. And you can just have it flicking away in the background. So that's all there is to it. You know, you can actually pin multiple reports, sorry, multiple uh, pages for multiple different reports. It's all pretty cool. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Is that useful? I really like that setting. You've also got down here the ability to toggle between live data snapshot and public snapshot. Live is what we've just seen. Uh, public snapshot is basically turns it into an image 
that anybody can then open this PowerPoint deck. Snapshot is a snapshot, but only people with access to the report will actually be able to see the snapshot. Okay, so those are the different options. All right, hope you find that useful. Check out some of the other videos, links are about to pop up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.